Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It's March 25th, 2015, and here's a look at our top stories. Tonight, Apple wants you to get accustomed to real-time tracking. Plus, the government wells are running dry as California runs out of water. And cybersecurity pioneer John McAfee reveals how the police Big Brother system remotely steals your data. All that plus much more up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. As people prepare to pay $12,000 for an Apple Watch, I'm very curious if these people are aware of these real-time tracking features that could be found there within. Apple wants you to get accustomed to real-time tracking. A patent granted to the company on Tuesday by the government describes a process that allows a user of mobile devices to view a visual representation of the movements of a person with another device. And it gives the example, let's say you have a friend that's on a hiking trip, or this is how they spin it, or your kids are out, you know, maybe a first date, some type of situation, and you want to keep track of their movements, of their activities, you could use this to track that. But at the same time, these things could be hacked, as most things can, to track your everyday movements. And I remember it was, man, it was years ago. I was with a friend, and this was before, I guess, smartphones, back when people had the other phones, so I guess you would call them dumb phones or whatever else. And he says, hey, I can show you on my phone your position. And of course, I was standing right next to him, but these were the tracking features that they had five, six years ago. It's amazing how much these things have been updated. And we'll be talking about this and so much more when we talk to John McAfee Coming up at the end of our show, he's going to be telling us about stingrays and other ways people can gather your information. Now, let's talk about the water wars, the uh, ongoing drought that's in California. And we have an article by shtfplan.com, and the author tells us that as the drought gets worse and worse, the prices of food are going to go up and up. And it only makes sense, and now he's saying that we could end up in a situation where people actually are fighting over water. And we also have a similar situation here in the state of Texas where we have an ongoing drought. Even though we've had a lot of rain recently, we do have an ongoing drought. So this is something to be concerned about. You know, what exactly can be done about it? I'm not exactly sure, but, uh, but I don't think paying carbon taxes is the answer for that. Let's talk about Monsanto. Monsanto, when we talk about the food in California, you know, you have an organization like Monsanto who say that they're here for the earth. They're all about the people and all this other warm and fuzzy crap. Meanwhile, they're saying that you can't know what's in your food, that putting a label on a can of soup, for example, would cost the soup manufacturers way too much money. But think about this. When you have a, a genetically modified food, you have a bag of potato chips or whatever else, every time there's a big blockbuster movie or some type of sporting event, they change the packaging for that. But Monsanto said that's too much. And now Monsanto is asking the World Health Organization to retract a cancer link. It says, just days after the World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer released a report publicly declaring the well-known link between Monsanto's Roundup herbicide and cancer, the GMO Leviathan is already calling for the entire agency to issue a retraction. And Monsanto said, uh, the World Health Organization has something to explain. Well, maybe it's uh, Monsanto that should be doing some explaining when we talk about uh, the rats, for example, you guys probably recall that very famous study, I believe 2012, the rats eating GMO food and they get these huge cancer tumors. As far as I know, that's never been debunked by Monsanto or anybody else. And it's always this argument or non-argument that the debate is settled. This is a fact, this is what it's going to be. Just like when they came to, uh, or should I say the biotech industry came to South by Southwest this past year, and they were supposed to have a debate with an anti-GMO group. At the last minute, they pull an audible, say, no, anti-GMO group, you're not going to be able to come to our discussion and debate with us. We're just going to sit up here and tell everybody how great our products are. So these are the type of tricks that they play and things that you need to watch out for. Something else you need to watch out for, what could potentially happen to you in your next traffic stop? They were trying to kill me, especially when they had choked me, you know. I mean, I was, I was on my last breath. I had told her, I was a please, I can't breathe. Dent was not armed and no gun was found in his car. After the arrest, 
police discovered Dent was driving on a suspended license. They also say they found a baggie of crack cocaine under the passenger seat. They planned that stuff in my car. And the full video is too long to show, but you can go to the article and see these things for yourselves. I just want to point out some of the facts uh, or debate some of these facts that the officers put out. So first of all, they say the man was trying to flee from the scene. And I will say, yes, the gentleman did appear to keep driving while the officers were trying to flag him down, but he didn't speed up. He wasn't bobbing and weaving through traffic. He drove and eventually came to a very calm stop. Then the officers claimed that the gentleman threatened them. And even though you at one point in the video see several officers surrounding the guy, uh, these guys have on body cameras, body mics, nobody caught this supposed threat on camera. Also, one of the officers claimed that the gentleman bit him. The officer reported no injuries and had no medical attention. And they did say that the gentleman had uh, some crack cocaine in his vehicle, but after choking and beating a guy and tasing him for pretty much uh, not doing anything wrong, I can't say that the officers did plan it, but you know I wouldn't put past somebody to try to cover their tracks for beating a man down for essentially nothing. But that's just these officers. We don't want to talk about all officers in general because there are plenty of good officers out there, like Sheriff Richard Mack, who came on the Alex Jones Show today. And he was talking about the militarization of the police, and he's saying he doesn't like the actions of the type of officers we just talked about here. But they're all good officers out there, and one just recently lost his life. We have an officer in Wisconsin who engaged a bank robbery suspect and was killed during a shootout. And my condolences does, do go out to the family of this slain officer. And like I said, we do have good officers out there, but so often it's videos like what we just showed you that makes the news. But we do care about these officers when they encounter these types of situations. So we're talking about a car chase, but the EPA is chasing away muscle cars. You guys remember the big hot rod you saw in all the old movies, how the EPA killed muscle cars. And this is a good article that you can find on Infowars.com that goes through all the details. But I want to contrast this article with the EPA with this, a professor saying that electric cars cause more pollution. And this is a University of Toronto professor. He says owning an electric car in some Canadian provinces could actually be worse for the environment than conventional gas-powered automobiles. And he quotes Alberta, Saskatchewan, Nova Scotia, and he says electric cars generate more carbon pollution over their lifetimes than gas-powered cars. So you can compare and contrast those. I've heard that uh, motorcycles put out a lot of emissions. So really, you just drive what you want to drive and let the chips fall where they may. And we're going to let the chips fall where they may for this segment, but we'll come back with more special reports. As I mentioned earlier, we'll have an interview with John McAfee of John McAfee's antivirus software and also a report about PSYOPs being committed on the American people. InfoWars Life and InfoWarsLife.com is extremely excited to announce our latest release, Winter Sun, a revolutionary type of vitamin D3. Winter Sun is a premium quality vitamin D3 nutritional supplement. It is produced by extracting oil from healthy, nutrient-dense plants known as lichens. Every batch is analyzed for purity and D3 content. It's completely free of toxins and allergens. Simply put, if you want the best at an extremely low price, this is it. Winter Sun is the result of our pursuit of the best source of vitamin D3. The research and development took over two years, but the result, as verified by independent laboratories, is the best vegan vitamin D3 product in the world. Read the facts at InfoWarsLife.com about Winter Sun Vitamin D3. Not only does vitamin D3 promote a healthy mood, but vitamin D supports our memory and brain function, something the globalists are targeting. Visit InfoWars.com today or call 888-253-3139. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com, oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 
Back in February of 2012, USA Today writer Tom Vandenbroek and editor Ray Locker were targeted just days after contacting the owners of Leone Industries, a Pentagon-funded PSYOP contractor. Mysteriously, websites popped up, some of them claiming that Vandenbroek and Locker worked for the Taliban. And these journalists, they weren't even political. They were, they were investigating some mine company corruption or something. But Leone's co-owner created a batch of fake websites, social media accounts, and a fraudulent Wikipedia page in an effort to smear the journalist. And basically, they created a whole set of fake websites that pretended to be fan websites of these journalists. And they just slowly turned them into complete uh, outposts for smearing them to try and uh, discredit their investigations. And uh, as is documented in this article, and as of, I've written many articles about since 2008, basically the Pentagon has put out a raft of fake websites that are designed to look like independent media sources. They admitted this in 2008. I'm not making it up. You'll probably see many of them out there when you read the internet on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's all part of Cass Sunstein's cognitive infiltration of so-called conspiracy theorists uh, and putting out disinformation to confuse people, lead them away from the truth, lead them down into dead ends, uh, and make everything futile. It wasn't just the fact that they had uncovered a PSYOP contractor that was given federal dollars regardless of the back taxes California-based Leone industry owners owed. They were exposing the major PSYOP they were a part of, American PSYOP 101. A 2000 report from the desk of the Defense Science Board Task Force titled The Creation and Dissemination of All Forms of Information in Support of Psychological Operations PSYOP, in Time of Military Conflict. This unclassified report is available in PDF form as a link in the description of the report you are listening to right now. The report details how PSYOPs were successful and unsuccessful in major PSYOP operations overseas. From this research, the task force found that military PSYOP offers a unique and powerful asset in military operations, both in peacetime and in war. Given the broad array of complex missions conducted by U.S. military forces, understanding the culture and preparation of the soft battle space is imperative to the conduct of successful operations. Members of the Defense Science Board Task Force include Dennis Boven of Bear Stearns, Brand Farron of Walt Disney Imagineering, Paul Kaladze of DARPA, to name a few. The financial arena in bed with the entertainment industry, the robotics industry, and the Defense Department. One of the diagrams from the report describes how strategic, military, and tactical psyops work. All signs of the times in the United States since 9-11 reeks of the genesis of a strategic psyop which is now morphing into a military psyop as indicated by the newly uncovered SOCOM document listing Utah, Texas, and Southern California as hostile areas. So that's a trick. When something's supposed to be declassified, they'll still hide it. So now for four or five days, they've had the different publications, Stars and Stripes, Military.com, and others going, we don't know if the document's real, but these conspiracy theorists, uh, uh, you know, claim that we want to take over Texas and Utah this this summer and martial law. We're not going to have martial law this summer. You notice how they don't deny the operation, though, whatsoever? They just keep trying to, you know, move the attention away from the fact that that's going on and just keep throwing out the conspiracy term and keep attacking us so it takes people's attention off of the fact that there that there is a mission going to happen just like it says in the documents, they're not denying it. Today's PSYOP force includes a small but dedicated cadre of country experts familiar with the cultures and fluent in the languages of their accounts. There is a small and equally dedicated cadre of production personnel operating a modest suite of production capabilities. One such dedicated cadre of production personnel is Obama supporter and major Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein, who is now shelling out films aimed at attacking the Second Amendment. I don't think we need guns in this country, and I hate it, and I think that the NRA is a disaster area," he said in an interview last year. They're gonna wish they weren't alive after I'm done with them. And now, Film Nation Entertainment has greenlit a drama entitled Ms. Sloan, in which an anti-gun lobbyist pushes through the federal government control legislation by targeting the gun rights lobby. On May 18, 2012, Michael Hastings, reporting for BuzzFeed News, 
delved into the bipartisan amendment that neutralized the smith munt Act of 1948 and Foreign Relations Authorization Act in 1987. The smith munt Modernization Act of 2012 legalized the use of PSYOP propaganda in the United States funded by the State Department. A co-author of the bill, Representative Mac Thornberry of Texas, regarded Hastings' fears as silly. Matt Armstrong, former executive director of the State Department's Commission on Public Diplomacy, stated, There's this misconception that public diplomacy is propaganda. Propaganda is a lie, a deception, or intentional ambiguity, none of which can be led to effective public diplomacy by any country, let alone the U.S. A doublespeak propaganda statement, if there ever was one. John Bound for Infowars.com. DNA Force. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. DNA Force. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. DNA Force. We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. Ancientdefense.com. John McAfee of McAfee Antivirus Software contacted us. He said, I'm very concerned about the Stingray systems. You guys probably heard us talk about these. The Stingray systems that are used by people like police, pretty much anybody who can afford the technology to mass collect phone calls. That's right, your private conversations can be collected by some third party without your knowledge. And he said, I wanna tell the people about this and what they can do to combat this. So John McAfee joins us now. Thank you for joining us, John. Thank you for asking me. I'm glad to be here. Yes, now uh, I know you have a lot of Stingray news and all that, but briefly, could you just give us a recap for our viewers who may not be familiar with your uh, trials and tribulations coming from Belize and are you in a comfortable place now? I'm in a very comfortable place. Uh, I'm living in Tennessee. Uh, I've made public where I'm limited, where I'm, I'm uh, actually living. Uh, it's a town called Lexington, a very small town in uh, the central northern part of Tennessee. Um, the uh, you know the U.S. government has been very helpful in um, uh, providing information to me about what's happening in Belize, um, and uh, I, I, I hope that my trials and tribulations with Belize will will soon be over. Excellent, excellent. Now, uh, let's talk about these stingrays, because we've been reporting about these for a while now, but if you talked about these things uh, two, three years ago, you were called a kook, a conspiracy theorist, but you're saying these things are very much up and active as we are. Uh, we've documented this stuff extensively, and what have you found uh, with your recent research on the, on the topic? I, I found that there is no municipality in, in America that has more than 5,000 people that does not have access to at least one of these devices. Uh, some of the larger cities have many hundreds of these devices. The, 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 the central problem with the stingrays, other than the fact that the Harris Corporation, uh, almost in league with, with, with the government, uh, has a contract so tightly bound that uh, anyone who buys one cannot tell anybody else where they got it from, what the name of the product is, how much they paid for it, how many uh, other products similar to it that they own, or anything else. Um, the other problem is that, that these stingrays are not selective devices. If they are in your area, all cell phone calls will go through the stingray because that is 
the most powerful signal in that area. So everyone within a quarter of a mile will be, will be passing through the stingray. Now, if the police knew the phone number and knew the, the, Mac, the machine address of the device being used by the criminal they were attempting to, to um, uh, listen to, that would be one thing. But in most cases, they do not. They just know that the criminal lives nearby or is in an apartment here or is in an automobile there. So they have to listen to everybody's conversation to filter out and find the actual person that they are interested in, which means that every single uh, conversation within a quarter of a mile is being listened to and has to be listened to to determine which conversation is the one that they're interested in. This shocks me and, and, and frightens me. As, as it should most of America, because you touched on it right there. Let's say you are looking for some elusive terrorist or criminal. They're probably smart enough to use a disposable phone, change phone numbers frequently. So now, yes. even if they are staying in the apartment complex, you have to listen to everybody's chatter. And people always That's say, correct. well, I don't have anything to hide. Well, you may not be doing anything illegal, but maybe you're talking about something you don't want the world at large to know about. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we have wives and girlfriends. We have, we have private conversations every single day. Uh, you know, we talk to our children. We talk to our parents. We talk to our friends about things we would never dream of making public or allowing someone else to listen in on. And yet these, these Stingray devices are so prevalent that it's rare to find any area where they're not being used these days. So that at least for some part of the month, you can be guaranteed that your phone conversations are being listened to just to filter out to make sure that you are not the person that they're looking for. Uh, this again, it's, it's, it is unbelievable that it has happened here in America. And yet it is happening here as we speak. And you think about the Constitution, it says you cannot have a warrant without probable cause. These guys aren't even using warrants. They're just going out there and mass collecting this data. You're supposed to have a specific type of information you're looking for, but you know, just somebody in the apartment complex doesn't really fill that void. People have actually filed suit against police saying, wait a minute, what's going on here? You know, I want some information because I have the right to it. And so far, no one's getting any information. So far, the, the police, the authorities are standing firm. So it's going to get worse and worse and worse until finally this is going to be the hot button of this of this year, I promise you. So I do agree. You know, it's, it's going to come to a head some kind of way because we see with the protest, uh, we've seen the reports monitoring people in the crowds, things of that nature. A lot yes. of speculation that when you have these large gatherings, there are also kill switches that can kill the communications, not just the cell phones, Absolutely. but if you're because streaming you're going live. through that device, that device has the, the strongest signal in the area. So you have to go, your phone automatically goes through it because it looks for the strongest signal so that it uses the least amount of power from your phone. Common sense. So if it's going through that device, they can choose at any moment not to pass it through to the real AT&T or to the real whatever, whatever subscriber you're subscribing with. So of course they have the kill switch. It's a frightening situation because they can listen to us and watch us and at the same time remove our ability to communicate simultaneously. Scary stuff. This is an article you cited us. Now there's an app for detecting government stingray cell, cell phone trackers. Yes. Uh, can you break down this article for us? Well, yeah, it's actually, it was developed by three German scientists that um, have made the source code public domain. It's open source, meaning anyone can download it and put it in an app. I guarantee you, however, that the first company that does this, and it might be ourselves, will get all kinds of flack and probably lawsuits from, uh, from the government because that will put into the hands of everyone the ability to say, oh my gosh, you know, we're being passed through a stingray now. So let me, let me call you back later. I don't want someone listening to my private <laughs> conversation with you. Right. Well, if we as the general public can do it, then, then so can the criminals. And I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yet we have to know when we're being listened to if we are innocent of any crime and they do not suspect us of any crime. Certainly we have the right to know that they're listening to our conversations. Uh, if we do not have such a right, then please, somebody tell me what law removes that right from me. Because as I understand our Constitution and every state constitution, I do have the right to have privacy in my communications with other people, provided I am not performing a criminal act or I am not suspected of performing one. That is no longer happening. In order to find the bad people, they have to listen to all of the good people. Well, I'm sorry, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't wash it with me. It just doesn't. Exactly. And talking about these applications, I don't know if you heard earlier this year, they were talking about the Waze app, W-A-Z-E, and the police were all up in arms about this cell phone app, which among many other things allows you to pin the locations of police officers. You can also report traffic accidents, things of that sort. 
and the officers got all up in arms. How dare you put out something that can track our locations? And we're saying, well, what about what you're doing with us? And it's not That's just the, the phones, but you know, you go downtown in places like Austin, Texas, they have police uh, cameras every place and they tell you you have no reasonable expectation of privacy in public. So can't you say the same thing for the officers? Well, of course, absolutely. I mean, they are public officers, for heaven's sake. That is, that's part of their name. Uh, well, certainly we should have the right to know where they are. And actually, it could be extremely beneficial. If there's a police around the corner, then I might feel more comfortable about sitting outside late at night and, and not having to worry about being robbed or something. I mean, what's wrong with knowing where our policemen are? Good Lord, are they all doing such devious things that, that if we knew about it, we would be up in arms? I don't know. It's a very strange problem. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. McAfee, you touched on your organization working on apps. So what exactly are you working on at this moment? Okay, we, we are actually uh, uh, trying to implement the, uh, the, the new Stingray detector um, uh, into one of our apps. We have an app called uh, Devasive, which allows you to lock down the camera, the microphone, uh, to lock down your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth for, for, for times when you absolutely do not want someone watching you on your phone or listening to you, which, by the way, these Stingray devices can also do. Not only can they intercept your phone conversations, they can plant onto your phone software which will allow the police to watch you and listen to what you're saying while you're in the privacy of your own home. And they may actually have to do this to determine whether or not they have the right person. So if you're, if you're collecting, you know, you're, you're looking for one person who you know is living across the street from where you're monitoring, and yet you're collecting cell phone uh, signals from as much as a quarter of a mile away, you may have a thousand people you have to filter through, and you may actually have to turn on their microphones or their, their cameras in order to see, oh, that's not the one. I'm sorry, that's Mr. Jones across the street. Good Lord, no one should have that right. No one should have that power. And yet they do. This is the power that they have. And, and I believe that I have the right not to allow that power to be used on me in this country. And again, if I'm wrong, please tell me, point me to the law. And I will go back to Belize and live back in the jungle running from the Belizean government. <laughs> that's right, and it's bad enough here. You know, you got the NSA director saying he's a libertarian while he's spying on everybody in America. Now, Mr. McAfee, I want to ask you a couple questions outside of the Stingray because modern technology, not just your phone, but your computer, uh, your home entertainment systems, how hackable would something be like an Xbox? Is that very accessible to somebody, not just with the Stingrays, but to any uh, technology expert? There's nothing that's not hackable. I mean, I don't know if you've been keeping up with the news. Sam Samsung announced that its, uh, its latest television will be watching you while you're watching it um, and listening to you as well. Uh, they're working on facial recognition software so that they will know whether you're smiling or whether you're laughing, whether you're pleased with the program or whether you're not pleased with the program. Um, I mean, that's all good and well, but, but I'm in the privacy of my living room. I might be naked and, and drinking a beer like some of the average American, and I do not want Samsung taking uh, photos of me and videos and sending them to a third party when the third party is not even named. Uh, and hacking that is the easiest thing in the world. If you can build a device to watch, then you can hack that device so that you can watch it yourself. Anyone can. And I promise you that these stingrays are in the hands of the wrong people, the wrong people. And maybe the police are the wrong people to, for it to be in the hands of now. I do not know, but I can guarantee you that it, they are in the hands of criminals. They have been used against me. I'm able to detect a stingray when, when, my, when my phone or when any of my mobile devices uh, goes through a stingray. I've been able to detect it for a long time. I have not put it into a product because I thought that might have been dangerous. And now that the Germans have released source code for it, I think, well, maybe it's a little bit safer. I may do so. But I, I'm constantly being monitored by a stingray. I have no clue whether it's the police, the FBI, the NSA, the, the Sinaloa cartel, the Zetas, uh, or, or just some neighbor that happens to have stolen one and is interested in what people are doing in the neighborhood. I don't have a clue. But people, they're in the wrong hands. And to say we cannot develop technology to protect ourselves from them because we would be restricting the law enforcement capacity to keep law and order, I, I'm sorry, I'm not buying that either. Well, you hit the nail on the, head, on the head right there because you're talking about even with the police officers, we've seen NSA officials spying on girlfriends, ex-wives, things of that nature. So to say that uh, this stingray can't be used for a similar type of tactic is completely ridiculous. Well, John and McAfee. We know it is. I mean, there are so many of them out there that statistically we know for a fact. And I know for a fact because they're being used against me. And to my knowledge, 
I have done no crime here in America other than the crime of speaking out against things that I do not believe in. And I speak out very strongly. I think Alex Jones would, would sympathize with me. I think he's gone through periods like myself where, where he has been watched and, and harassed even by, by our government. Okay, well, but fine. I mean, I, I'm an individual. I can put up with that. But, but as, as a nation, uh, to say that we no longer have the right to privacy because by giving us that right, we are taking away from the authorities the power to arrest and take off the streets bad people. I'd rather live with the bad people. I'm serious. I am very serious. Mr. McVie, can you leave us with your final thoughts and also tell people how they can keep up with your work? Uh, my company is Future Tense Central. You can, uh, you can check us out at futuretensecentral.com. All of our products are, are, are there to provide security and privacy and also to put power back into your own hands. We even have a fetal heart monitor. That is a, a device that will monitor a baby's heart while it's in utero, in the mother's uterus. Um, and it sells for $139. And this, this, for example, takes the power away from doctors to say, no, you've got to come into the office because this is a very complex procedure and, and we want to check you out and charge you another $200. No, everything that we're doing is putting power back into your hands, you, the public, the people, where the power should have been from day one and probably was when this country was first formed. But I don't see much power in the people today. So please, take it back. Uh, go to Future 10 Central, check out our products. Uh, speak out, stand up, say something. Say, I'm, I'm mad as hell, I'm not taking it anymore. Or say something, please. Thank you, John. Thank you, sir. Well, that's it for our show tonight. Be sure to go to the InfoWars shop and pick up some Winter Sun Vitamin D3. It's the latest addition to our InfoWars Life product line. And also go to PrisonPlanet.tv where you can see the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, all right there on PrisonPlanet.tv. Well, I'm Jakari Jackson for the InfoWars Nightly News, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.